and we're here at the Linaro Connect 2018 here in Hong Kong and uh, who are you? Yeah, I'm Tao Wang. I'm from uh, Peking University, China, and I'm also the leader of Talent Development Group of GCC Green Computing <laughs> Green Computing Consortium. So, Green Computing Consortium. It sounds like very important. We, yeah. we don't want to use too much power, right? Yeah, is sure. That what it is? That, that's about uh, energy efficient stuff. So, we believe that even for server, and we do not need much uh, power can can. Consumption. Consumption. We do not want power hungry servers. Yeah. We need we need energy efficient servers. And in that way, we, we believe that ARM 64 is a good choice for the server uh, processors. It's very important because so many people want to use a smartphone. Mm -hmm. They want to use a computer. They want to have more uh, cloud services. Yes. The, the, the demand is going up very yeah. fast. Yeah. So if we just continue to make uh, big energy servers, it's not going to work, right? Yeah, sure. So let's look at this. And in the PC age, in the PC and server, I say the six is domi was dominant. That was before. Like that this. was that was before. Yeah. And ARM was was uh, worse at small s scope here. But uh, when we move to more internet age, and the ARM grows grows up, and I x eighty six is also okay. But in the future, even uh, for example, in the cloud computing age, we believe that there are three trends: multi-core, heterogeneity, and integration. And what is uh, mostly the most important thing is that the power consumption. And uh, nowadays, energy efficient efficiency is very important. So we believe that if we want to um, aim at uh, reduce the power consumption in, at the servers or at data centers in cloud computing age, we need to use um, 64 stuff. So uh, it's very important because uh, there's a lot of things happening. You're talking, for example, about the seven nanometer process. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, basically Moore's law maybe is uh, slowing down a little bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, there's now more cores. Yeah, more cores. Parallel software. Yeah, 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 yeah. Software. So that that that's that's okay. That's another trend. We need parallel parallelism to use more to uh, support more workload. But uh, I think uh, even then the power consumption is very important at servers at the server side. So. Uh, our focus here is in energy efficiency, the power consumption. So, um, I've been doing videos about the ARM servers for many, many years, and okay. so there's ARM and now Qualcomm High Silicon, and mm -hmm. there's there's also KVM solution. And um, can you say something about how do you work with them? To what, yeah. what are you looking for with them? Okay, we have a common idea to gather a group here, and you can see that those ARM is IP IP wonder. And uh, Konka and Hysilicon are system or chip vendor. And those are system vendors. And we also have a Chinese government to support this all one? this. Yes, this one. This is a uh, uh, Ministry of Industry and Information Technology in China. And so the, uh, the MIT, the Ministry of in Industry and Information Technology, just supports all these vendors to gather a group to, uh, to, to build a specification to make the ecosystem healthy Are you in saying, China. Is it possible that maybe China will say, we want ARM servers now, it will happen? <laughs> Is that I how it works or it's not how it works? I think that's uh, an that, that's, uh, option. Option. It's yeah, that's an option. You need to keep the options open, right? Yeah, sure. You want to develop everything, so if it's an yeah. option, yeah, that's it should be seized. I, I think that for, for uh, at the gov that's my personal idea, yeah. right? Uh, at the government side, the government will not say that you should use x86 server or ARM server, but the government would say that ARM server is also good, and it's power efficiency. Efficient, power efficient. So the government would say that you should develop, you should uh, uh, develop this trend, at least at uh, the energy efficient uh, efficiency side. Hopefully, uh, uh, China is doing a lot of uh, uh, renewable energy hmm. uh, uh, to keep the pollution levels lower. Yeah. Right? There's a lot of change happening. Right? Yeah, sure. But still. Um, Maybe it should be like uh, there should be kind of like a rule. Hmm. Every WeChat message, maximum power. You uh -huh. know, like some kind of thing where you you, you don't want the the cloud company. Maybe hmm. they they have so much money. Maybe they don't care to pay more money for power. I think they, but they should. They should care. Yeah, they should care. That's the that's the responsibility of go the government, right? To regulate, the government maybe should, regulate. Yeah. yeah. Yes, regulate.
the regulation is very important. Just like maximum power per yeah, sure. cloud. I believe that. Cloud inst- yeah, uh, yeah. Per, per unit of the cloud, yes. It, yeah, it, cool performance. So, and so it's the, like the cars, when they do the cars, it needs to be more efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be the same for the cloud so, so yeah. data centers, right? So you know that uh, there is at least a cloud top fi- 500, top yeah. hi- 500 super computing, right? yeah. super computer. And uh, yeah. there is also at least a cloud uh, top green 500, green yeah. top 500. Yeah. And uh, I believe, in my information, that uh, the Chinese government just uh, pay more attention on the energy efficient. Because um, China has the biggest uh, supercomputers, yeah. uh, but um, um, also the most energy efficient. I don't know, but it's possible I, it's in the top, right? Uh, yeah, but, but but at least I know. I think that the the government has some some uh, idea that they want to make the 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 servers or the supercomputing most power efficient. <laughs> Uh, because, as far as I understand, the supercomputer Chinese one is many small cores. Yeah, sure. Um, and it's, so it's parallel supercomputing, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of parallel. Yeah. And uh, p- power efficient, uh, somewhat it's power efficient. And, um, but no, I don't think that's the top one. And maybe you can, t- can you talk about uh, what, what is the okay. organizational structure right here? That's the re- organizational structure of GCC, Green Computing Con- Consulting in China. So we have a general meeting of members, advisory committee, board of directors, technical committee, and the secretary ty- tyrant. But the most important, we have, no, not most important, sorry. <laughs> the, yeah. But uh, five important working groups are standards and tests, and the system enabling, and uh, pilot program, pilot development, and IPR. So we can see the details there. So the secretary is the permanent department which is responsible for organization, operation, and working group support. And the standards and the test working group uh, defines GCC technology standards and test specification and conduct test and verification to a wide industry split. And the system enabling group cooperates with the NARO to promote the system enablement via R&D and tool development. And we have a pilot program working group promotes application demonstration for both OTT and enterprise customers to drive ecosystem build up. And the IPR working groups, my working group manages IPR related issues case by case. And I'm the leader of Thailand development working group. So we established the Thailand development programs in academy to ensure the sustainable development of green computing industry. So that means you are recruiting uh, students that can understand the ARM servers, for example? Uh, we, we educate students to understand ARM servers. And we bring the, the, the materials to the, um, to the um, campus to, to give courses. Uh, uh, so uh, the, it's got to be very interesting how yeah. to optimize the software on the arm. Uh-huh, yes, uh, yes. How to get the most performance per watt. Yeah. Optimize software, make better software. Yeah, yeah. But open wait, source, uh, yeah. everything open source. <laughs> Yes, everything is open source. But uh, uh, the first thing is that we need a specification. We need a unified specification to unify, to, to cooperate, to coordinate all those system wonders of the ARM servers. Otherwise, you know, in IDA86, the yeah. okay, a v- very good thing about IDA86 is that it's unified, unified work, yeah. right? Everything that you write, the unified uh, kind of program, and. Uh, each system system wonder you just provide uh, very, very similar systems at least in, in, in terms of the specifications very similar and then you do not worry about the the, the compli- how the compliance right the okay. English word compliance yeah. stuff right. so, so uh, that, that means we have the uh, a specification of the arm servers and what we, we actually we build a we, we propose the white paper of the the arm servers. So nice. this is something like uh, like this. We released Green Computing Standards white paper at the World Internet Conference in December last year. So what does it say? The white paper. The white paper just tells about how how to build us at the system level for each system wonder to build a, a unified standard of the arm servers. 
that's for the the system vendors like uh, Lenovo, uh, high uh, high silicon. Uh, one other thing that I wonder, you know, very big companies that are big cloud companies, they're making millions of servers. Yeah, sure. So they have big partnership with Intel. Yeah. Uh, so maybe there's also a big business aspect. Yeah. They cannot just switch to ARM because Intel huh. would be angry. Yeah. So <laughs> may, I think many of them maybe have to be careful, mm -hmm. but they're testing, but if it's ready, they will switch, but th they know mm -hmm. when they switch, mm -hmm. Intel will be angry. Yeah. It, sorry, I don't know if it's any relevance for what you, but you, because because there's okay. not only the green, there's also the business. Okay, like I, that kind of green, the dollars. Okay, I think that's the, I think that's the, I have, this is my personal idea, right? My personal idea. I think um, Chinese, at least the Chinese government, pay mu much attention to green computing, right? So this is called the green computing consulting. And right now, at least right now, ARM server is the best, I, in my personal belief. ARM server is the best for green computing. It's a big ecosystem. Ico not not about because of the big ecosystem. I mean, the, for the power efficiency oh, yeah. features yeah. for the ARM servers. Yeah. And uh, Intel is powerful, right? But uh, I, I believe Intel should uh, pay more, more, more attention, attention to power hungry servers to make the energy efficient efficiency more I think more energy efficient. I think otherwise, otherwise, you know, uh, suppose we have a, a boundary, we have a maximum boundary of the limit, maximum lim limit of po power consumption. And what if Intel cannot reach this? So you have to think about it. Yeah, and Intel if, should if think ARM about it. If ARM help Intel think about that, it's also good. I think that that's also it's a, good. It's actually a success yeah. for ARM yeah. if they can force Intel yeah, sure. to make a greener sure, sure, sure. server. Yeah, because we aim at technologies, right? We, we aim at the human future. We do not aim at uh, a single wonder, right? So I think that's, at least that's my personal belief. Because I, I guess that in China, every year the, the cloud computing is doubled. Yeah. Or something. It's growing <laughs> yeah. like yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that means in five years it's gonna be hundred times bigger. <laughs> That's what it means, right? Double, yeah. double, 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 or yeah, something, yeah. or ten years, or something. Yeah. That's a big challenge. Yeah, yeah, sure. And I think the energy efficiency is the at least among the most challenging, challenging stuff. So it's yeah. very urgent. Yeah, very urgent, very urgent to urgent think about your, this. Your, your, yeah. your work is urgent. Yeah. yeah. So uh, well, how do you feel about Linaro? How's your collaboration with Linaro? How long you work with the, together with them? Okay. So uh, let me check. So we, we work together with uh, in system enabling working group to coordinate with Linaro to promote the system enablement, uh, R&D and the tool development. So Linaro is, uh, I think that's the, Linaro has ERP platform, right? So uh, we work with Linaro to, uh, Linaro can also help us to, to uh, promote the GCC ideas. There. So uh, I've, I've been doing Linaro videos for a long time, but it would be exciting to see um, even more uh, collaboration, faster collaboration in the yeah. open source. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, uh, open I source. I guess Linaro can play a nice role yeah. in, in yeah. 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 And just good. like more and more uh, yeah. engineers like a very advanced, crazy yeah. good engineer yeah, all yeah. over the world uh, working yeah. together. Yeah, sure, sure. We also talk about uh, collaboration in the talent development program. Yeah. So uh, in that group, in that program, Linaro will pro would. I think Linaro would like to pro provide us some materials for some trainings in the campus and okay. to uh, make the university students to understand what should be good uh, power efficient software, open source so software and the specification, how to write the programs with uh, more power efficiency. Maybe there's like, there should be like kind of like a route to go through for the students where they can maybe at the end, maybe they get a job in Linaro or some other company that do open source uh, like uh, the, it's the interest of Linaro to find the next 100 engineers, right? Yeah, and may, maybe maybe they would they would build their own companies. Yeah, the students any, any, would build. It's yeah. open source, right? Yeah, that's open source. So they can do anything they want. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think but that's it needs the to be, uh, funded somehow. Yeah. I think I think they need to understand this, right? I think here the students need to understand what is the, open, the idea of open source, the idea of power efficiency. I think that's the most important. At least that's the idea of the talent, talent development working group. So how many, how many students are there in China working on this? How many students are interested in the ARM servers? 
thousands or no? I think maybe... Uh, how, how many students do you have? Do you I have. With? How yeah. many do you work with? I, I have, uh, I have uh, several tens of students. Uh, myself. And it's growing. Yeah. And it's myself. more and more... Yeah, more this is not for this working group. That's yeah. my, in my lab. Yeah, in your lab. But then yeah. you, it, there's more and more interest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many I, think, I think all the students in China are interested in energy efficiency, energy efficient computing, but on the open source, especially open source, open source stuff. But the, the important thing is that they need some guidance to understand more or understand more accurately the, what is a good side of open source, a good side of energy efficiency. And uh, I think uh, one, one one stuff is that um, uh, for ARM servers, we, we really do not have much uh, more, many, many ARM servers in Compass. We have x86 servers, but uh, ARM would like to, uh, or the system wonders would like to donate some ARM servers yeah. to the university. Yeah, we need, yeah, it, we need right? that. You need uh, some, some Qualcomm servers, some yeah, KVM, sure, sure. KVM Thunder X2 servers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some and Ampere, high silicon. Ampere high silicon. Yeah, and uh, Le 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 Lenovo stuff. So okay. hopefully there will be some, uh, maybe even some affordable development boards. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Make them available. Those, those development yeah. boards. Yeah, no. it's a high we priority. need that. <laughs> high, high priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the students would understand. Okay, those those are good things, and they will learn <coughs> learn how to use these things. And uh, not not like before. Before we we only had we only had x86 servers. Yeah, yeah. Then they. They did not have opportunity you to emulate. To emulate, yeah. They yeah. Do, did not have any opportunity to see, to see whether there are other tra other opportunity in ARM server or in other architecture. So maybe also it's very important for some. Uh, um, I don't know if it's Baidu or Alibaba or somebody you should make or another company make some servers yeah. and you can yeah. put your software on them. Yeah, yeah. There should be more and more of that also. Yeah. Like for uh, you know, like test servers. Yeah. And need many of them. Yeah, well, we have, we have uh, see this. Yeah. We have standards and. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh. Actually, we 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 are building an ARM-based green computing research and test platform called the CEISI, and we will have two test beds. And then we 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 install or we we develop. Uh, applications on those types so of ads. Students to, can access over the internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Internet. And, uh, that's open. That's nice. open to, to the public. I think that that would be pretty soon. Nice.